Across the world, intersport rivalries have fueled barroom arguments for years. So we've decided to test one of the most popular sports in the world against America's pastime. Because we want to find out what's harder to hit, a cricket ball or a baseball. Stepping up to help us find out is one of Major League Baseball's rising stars, Mark Reynolds. Mark's big time power Way back there, that ball is gone. has made him one of baseball's best young home run hitters. Representing the sport of cricket is Aditya Tiagrajan. This international star plays for the American national team, and he's known as an all rounder, meaning he excels at both bowling and batting. With an unorthodox grip on the bat and stance, our cricket star is clearly uncomfortable in the batter's box. <laughs> Trying to hit 80 mile an hour pitches, well below major league speed, Aditya makes some contact. But foul balls and squib grounders won't cut it in baseball. The cricket star only put two balls in play out of 20 pitches. That's only 10%. In cricket, you don't hold your hands together. You hold it away because basically you want to use the top part of your elbow more. But in baseball, you've got to keep your hands closer so that you get a better swing. Now it's time to flip the script to see if our major league slugger, Mark Reynolds, can rely on his baseball expertise for better results. And when I come to the plate, this is what I do is I spread out, I got an open stance a little bit, helps me see the pitcher better with both eyes. You know, I just dig it and uh, try to recognize the pitch as best I can and put a good swing on it. Cricket batting will present a new challenge for Mark. Not only can bowlers deliver balls over 90 miles an hour, They can bounce the ball. And it's perfectly legal to throw at the batter. Can our cricketer make this major leaguer look like a bush leaguer? All right, give me some. Mark easily adjusts and crushes the cricket ball with a 71 mile per hour bat speed. About five miles an hour slower than his baseball swing. Despite never facing a cricket bowler, Mark puts 14 out of 20 balls in play. An impressive 70%. Mark has two things working in his favor. First of all, he's got a bigger surface area to play with. A major league bat has a sweet spot of about four square inches. Contact just a quarter of an inch above or below the equator of the ball is the difference between a grounder and a pop-up. But the cricket bat's flat blade is four and one quarter inches wide giving Mark almost 32 square inches of prime hitting area. That's an 800% larger sweet spot than the baseball bat. Ooh. But more importantly, Mark intuitively figured out this secret that helps all cricket batters. It's all about vision. A Major League Baseball travels so fast that the human eye can't work fast enough, and the ball is essentially invisible the last 15 feet of flight. 
but cricket batsmen can actually see the ball make contact with the bat. Here's how. Instead of trying to follow the ball throughout its flight, he quickly shifts his gaze to where he predicts the ball will bounce. In just 200 milliseconds, in a process called accommodation, muscles reshape the lens of the eyes to become more spherical, helping the eye refocus on the bouncing ball. So it is, in fact, easier to hit a cricket ball than a baseball. The secret? Take your eye off the ball. Coming up, Mark Reynolds knows his way around the batter's box. But next, he'll reveal the mind-blowing ways he defends the hot corner.